Our colleague Vladlin Tatarsky, war correspondent, was killed in the terrorist attack in St. Petersburg. The explosion occurred during a meeting with subscribers in a cafe on the university embankment. 25 people were wounded. Ukrainian units once again attacked border areas of Kursk region. UAV dropped explosive device at Dronovka. Due to the explosion, the building of the House of Culture and nearby buildings were damaged. Other border settlements also came under AFU's attack. Iskra, Komutovsky district, as well as Kleven and Bogoslavka. As a result of the shelling of Nikolaevo Darino, residential buildings were damaged. Seven people were wounded. Russian military launched artillery and missile strikes on AFU's identified positions in the north of Kharkiv region. Ukrainian units' ammunition depot was destroyed near Izbitske. At Kupyansk sector, Russian servicemen detected and destroyed five enemies' sabotage reconnaissance groups. Also, concentrated artillery fire disrupted AFU units' rotation at forward positions near Dvorikny. At Lyman sector, despite of adverse weather conditions, severe positional fighting is carried on along the entire line of contact. Russian assault units are constantly moving forward and seizing AFU's fortified areas. In the north of Bakhmut, Wagner PMC's units continue to advance in Selishchensky district, took control of the school building number 24. In the industrial zone area, Russian units came close to the railway station. The command of the Wagner PMC announced the capture of the Bakhmut district administration. Legally, the town is under the control of Russian forces. The enemy is retreating with fighting to reserve positions in the western part of the city. Ukrainian units once again shelled Melitopol with HIMARS and Vilka MLRs. The locomotive depot and civilian infrastructure were hit. At least six people were wounded as a result of the hits.